How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another ARC bonus and today we're going to be discussing Rockwell recipes. Those little things uh, that you get, uh, those little papers that you get whenever you kill certain creatures that say, hey, this is something you can cook. You're like, I don't know, why should I cook that? Uh, they all have their own unique uses and today we're going to be discussing how to get those papers, uh, which recipes are useful, which are not so useful, uh, and where uh, you should uh, consume those consumables. So, first things first, we need to go out and find ourselves an alpha something to kill. Uh, because alphas are usually the best way of getting... Um, Rockwell recipes. Now I know uh, right over here. Now alphas, uh, they will spawn in the most random spots. You can have alphas spawn uh, pretty much anywhere. Now alpha creatures on the island, we're not going to look for a shark. We're not going to look for a Mosa or a Tuso or a Leedsick this because, uh, yeah, land based alphas will usually do the trick as well. So I'm going to hopefully see, where are you running from? Where are you running from, dude? Okay, I don't know what that dude's running from. But I'm hoping I'll find an Alpha Raptor, maybe an Alpha Carno uh, around here. Uh, around here, usually it's Alpha Raptors that spawn. Um... And I know right by the red ob, that is a really popular spot for alpha raptors. So I'm going to head over there, see if we can, and uh, see if we can find an alpha raptor. Alright, I found one. Come here, dude. And I have no idea what level this one is, I did not check. But raptors spawn uh, around the red arm. Level 8. Okay, and you see we got a uh, two recipes out there. Here, let me throw away the rest of this junk. Uh, I'll keep y'all just for keepsake. Okay, I'll keep y'all. X bone helmet, and I killed a theory on the way over here. Uh, no thanks. So you'll get trophies when you kill things. Uh, I definitely want to keep this prime meat. But you'll notice these two papers. Rockwell recipe. Uh, you have here the... And it doesn't have a title. Decorative coloring. Lazarus chowder. I think this is the Battle State Tatar. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but anyway, these recipes have their own unique uh, uses. And... Some of them are really easy to craft up. Others are kind of expensive. Uh, but as long <clears throat> as you have everything needed, uh, as long as you have crops going, you, you're going to need crops for every recipe. <clears throat> mm, excuse me, I have no idea what's wrong with my throat today. Oh my gosh. Shredder, tell my throat to, start, to stop getting all dry and everything but uh anyway you're gonna need uh uh crops from some of them you're gonna need more difficult resources like honey well honey's not that difficult once you get a ghillie suit and bug repellent uh honey's not too difficult to get uh because you don't always have to tame bees for honey you can just walk up to a hive gather honey sure it does have a cooldown, and you only get five honey but, yeah, it's pretty straightforward to get. Um, but with each alpha you uh, take out, you may get the same recipe. You may get a different recipe. Uh, and that's how you unlock uh, these recipes. You can't learn them through Ingrams. Uh, you don't learn them through beating bosses. You learn them by beating alphas. Uh, which essentially are kind of like mini bosses. Um, but 
once you uh, learn these recipes, they are super important. They are game changers, actually. Some of them, uh, some of them are game changers. Some of them not so much. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing here? Okay, whatever. You do you, man. Um. Anyway, give me all that prime. I might as well cook it up. Cause I need prime for my junk anyway. Let's get all that cooking up. Come on, cook up. Okay, where's the cook stuff? Uh, you were cooked. You were cooked. Oh wow, that's a lot of raw prime. But anyway, how'd that get over here? Stony, did you? Okay, that's nasty. But anyway, with the uh, S Plus Industrial Cooker, uh, it lists out crafted foods. So that's your uh, med brews, your energy brews, also your Rockwell recipes. Um, the Babble Steak Tartar, that's this one we just got. Lazarus Chowder, that's this one we just got. And I'm going to put those uh, up in the storage boxes. I don't really need those right now. Uh, Theory Claws, yes, I will need those. Um, now I have no idea why I still have the ghillie, but... Okay. There we go. Um... <clears throat> Man, okay, I know my voice sounds super weird today, okay? Don't give me a hard time. Um, but yeah, you need uh, certain ingredients to craft this up, just like you need kibble. Um, now these two, the cactus broth and the mushroom brew, you cannot craft those on the island. This one is scorched earth, that one is aberration. Um, so yeah, those two are a downside. The cactus broth is actually really helpful for certain boss fights. Uh, and for caves as well. Um, and this is really helpful whenever you're in the radiation zone. Um, but we are nowhere near doing that in our current series. But the first one I want to discuss with you, the Kalian Soup. This one is super, super important for uh, two boss fights, the dragon and the overseer. You will absolutely melt in the dragon boss fight. What the heck? Paralordosaurus, that's where it's coming from. Oh my gosh, dude. You are nasty. <laughs> um... But yeah, you will need that in the dragon arena because you will melt. You will also need that in the tech cave because you will melt. Uh, you're also going to need this one as well with the overseer. You're also going to need this one with the megapithecus. This will save you from freezing your tail off. Uh, yeah, you're going to freeze unless you have this. Uh, in the Overseer fight, you need this, plus an Otter or a Ferox. Um, yeah. Now, uh, this one over here, the Enduro Stew. <clears throat> this one. Oh my goodness, what is up with my voice? <clears throat> Hang on a second. Okay, I got a throat lozenge, so we should be good to go now. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, where'd we leave off? Uh, the Enduro Stew. 
Um, consume it to deal increased melee damage and gain extra stamagen, stamagen, stamina region. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Um, increase melee damage this is something i would say is more pvp oriented when you're going against other people uh and maybe when you're doing something like maybe i don't know a more primitive game uh but for the most part if you're gonna do a boss fight uh on foot as well uh yeah you can do this uh i normally don't do it because i don't normally fight myself I usually have my tames fight so yeah uh, the focal chili this one is super super important once you can craft an industrial cooker you need to craft up some focal chili because your crafting speed and you'll gain some movement speed but that's not necessarily what you're going for you're going for the crafting speed or the yeah, the crafting speed and the crafting skill. Uh, because you get a lot of XP when you craft stuff. Af while this is still in effect, you will get a lot of XP. Uh, so yeah, this is definitely worth it. Uh, yeah, so definitely once you uh, get an industrial cooker, take a mind white tonic, which we're about to discuss. And craft up uh and take a mind light tonic pump all of your uh ingrams and pump all your ingrams all of your levels uh into crafting skill eat a focal chili and you will get so much xp now the mind light tonic you'll forget everything you've learned you can only use it once every 24 hours, but again, like I said, you eat this, pump all of your levels into uh, crafting skill, eat one of these, so much XP. Now, the uh, the Lazarus Chowder, uh, it uh, will slow your rate of oxygen consumption, and you'll get some health regen. Uh, this is actually really important, uh, as well as this one. You need these to make kibble. Uh, you need this to make, uh, exceptional kibble. And you need, uh, the Lazarus Chowder to make extraordinary kibble. The best kibble out there. Um, I would not recommend a Lazarus Chowder. I'm sorry, but I still have a throat lozenge in my mouth. I would not recommend a Lazarus Chowder. I would wait till scuba gear uh, before you head underwater where you know, hey, I'm going to be underwater for a long time. Wait for scuba. I do not recommend a Lazarus Chowder. Um, because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Uh, and lately for me, uh, I played around with Lazarus Chowder. It slows your oxygen uh, consumption, but not by much you get maybe an extra 20 seconds even though it lasts 15 minutes you get an extra 20 seconds so every you know 20 seconds you're gonna have to shoot back up to the surface or shoot to a uh land-based part of an underwater cave and grab yourself a quick breath before you can head back underwater so using it for that i don't recommend it but i do recommend crafting this so you can make this stuff. Now the battle tartar, um, you get you know a bunch of melee, bunch of movement speed, damage resistance, stamina region. You take less damage once you eat one of these, but you lose uh, health. <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat better not start again. Uh, <laughs> you do lose health and. You do consume food and water more quickly. So your food stat and your water stat, it's going to drop really fast. So I don't really recommend this one. You can play around with it if you want. Uh, I personally don't recommend it. But, you know, you do you. Now, the Shadow Steak Sauté, this one, uh, you can, you know, it helps you out with uh your fortitude 
Um, and when it comes to uh, uh, shooting stuff, you know, you're less likely to miss. But uh, weather-wise, uh, it, it's helpful, but you're using your narcotics for this thing, and you're also using your mushrooms, your rare mushrooms, which you need to tame up uh, some things. You also need those which kibble needs rare mushroom uh, superior kibble you're also using it for your rare mushroom so again this is not one I would cook but you know it's up to you now we've already covered mind white broth of enlightenment this one is so this one's expensive but it is so worth it uh, your XP will just shoot through the roof whenever you do anything after taking that whether it's crafting whether it's fighting something whether it's taming whether it's just going out and harvesting things you will get so you will get xp from this and it's so worth it uh it's expensive because you do need black pearl you only need one though uh and you do need woolly rhino horns on scorched earth you're going to need uh deathworm horns deathworm horns are a substitute on scorched earth uh but on the island and extinction you need the rhino horns aberration uh i don't think you can craft this on aberration I'm trying to think, is there anything on Aberration that drops horns? Because Aberration does not have rhinos and it does not have uh, death worms. So I don't think you can craft it on Aberration. I think you'd have to craft it on another map and then transfer it. Um, but this stuff is what you need to tame Arthur Pleura. It is their preferred kibble. Arthur Pleura, they do not take kibble. They take Broth of Enlightenment. And usually it's just one of these um, that they take. You can tame a 150, which is one Broth of Enlightenment. So, uh, but Arthur Pleura, they're more PvP tames because you want to just destroy your enemy's bases. They can one-shot bases, one-shot armor. Um... But yeah, if you're looking for some extra XP, or if you're looking to tame up an Arthur Pleura, go for this. Um, I like to take it whenever I'm going into a tough cave. Uh, and for me, I probably will take this when I go into some of the heart, into some of the underwater caves, as well as the... Uh, cave that houses the artifact of the strong because the artifact of the strong is the most difficult artifact to get on the island uh so i will definitely take one of these before going into that cave as well as the curry because it gets cold in that cave too now the cactus broth um it's really good at preventing uh other things from gaining aggro if there are things out there that aggro on you from a long distance you're gonna have to get up really close to them uh for them to aggro on you or you're gonna have to actually punch them because some things uh i'm trying to remember i'm trying to think of one um you have to get right either right in their face or you have to uh, physically attack them for them to aggro on you if you've taken this but I can't think of one for now but I know like raptors can aggro on you from a distance compies can aggro on you from a distance things that normally aggro on you from a distance uh, yeah they they won't aggro on you unless you get really close or you smack them so yeah this is definitely worth it if uh, you may potentially find yourself in one of those situations. Craft up one of these. And that'll help you out big time. But again, this is a scorched earth thing. Uh, it's also an extinction thing because there are cactus on extinction in the desert biome. So scorched earth and extinction, 
this is where you can get that. Now, the mushroom brew, it's an aberration thing only. Um, this will, uh, as it says, protect um, your teams from radiation because your teams cannot wear hazard suits. You can wear hazard suits, they cannot. Um, but things that are normally vulnerable to radiation, like say, ravagers, uh, they will be just fine. Uh, as long as they have one of these. Now, it does have a, a what timer. It doesn't last forever, just like all of these. Uh, it only lasts for so long. But it can be really helpful if you're going into the radiation zone. And for some reason, you need a Ravager down there. I do not recommend doing so. But, or if you're going to be going close to radiation zone. And you don't want your taking any damage because you don't know if you're going to enter that threshold or not uh, feed them one of these I think it lasts three or four minutes but so yeah so you have to make it fast but uh, if you're going to find yourself in that situation craft one of these up and have it ready to go all right so i think that's gonna do it for this arc bonus um yeah rockwell recipes some of them i think are really really helpful others yeah, yeah, they're up to you but anyway uh i hope this video helped you out if it did smash that like button subscribe and i will see you guys next time